Hi everybody, so today I'm going to do a review of the Everyday Matters Bible. It's a Bible for women. It tells us that it's got practical encouragement to make everyday matter. It's a very pretty Bible. It's in the New Living Translation. This one is done by Hendrickson Publishing. And it tells us because everyday matters. So there's some of the information about this Bible, in case you'd like to pause and read that. So it features over 300 articles that focus on 24 spiritual practices. Gives us some examples, but we'll see those on the inside. And then these are the, each spiritual practice is explored in four different types of articles. So we've got Everyday Matters, Everyday Profiles, Everyday Reflections, and Everyday Questions and Answers. Here's our ISBN number. This particular one retails for $44.95. And the reason I have two of these out is because one of these, I have added the rainbow Bible tabs that I thought the color would just look nice with this Bible. And I'm going to be gifting one of these to a sister, so I wanted to let her choose which one she would like. And I do know the order of the books of the Bible. Some people assume if you like tabs or if you like thumb indexing that you don't and total misconception. But nice looking Bible so I just want her to be able to choose which of these two she wants. And of course this one does have the dust jacket as well. So they are both brand new. We've got three blank pages in the beginning so there are space for notes. We've got a nice presentation page that does have a psalm in the front. This one was printed in Italy, so it's got nice paper on it. There are some of the editions there. We've got our books of the Bible, a note to the readers. And we've got an introduction to the translation, which talks about the translation philosophy and methodology. So if you have never seen the NLT, I would definitely recommend reading this. And then we've got Transforming Everyday Matters into a Life that Matters Every Day. So that gives you a little bit of information about why they developed this Bible, if you'd like to pause and read that. And then one thing on this page that I did want to highlight is that uh, they did launch a website, which is curia.com. And that's uh, they did that as a ministry to help women go deeper in their faith. So that's pretty neat. So now we're going to get into the different spiritual disciplines. So I'll kind of pan down this to where you would be able to pause it and read these different ones if you would like. But a very neat Bible. I do like this one. I picked these up on christianbook.com. That's where I buy the majority of my Bibles. I do buy some on Amazon, some on eBay. But this is just a neat Bible. I really like the spiritual disciplines. And then this here tells us that they're not mutually exclusive. It tells us like that stewardship and simplicity go hand in hand, celebration and gratitude, as do contemplation and prayer. And so they've taken all of that into account and they've cross-referenced them in the index. So that's kind of neat. And then it's got a, so why do we practice the spiritual disciplines? And then a how to use this Bible. So on these, it's going to tell us that the four types of features appear throughout the biblical text, each providing insights and reflections regarding a particular spiritual discipline. So on the everyday matters, these are going to be two-page articles that will introduce major themes relevant to each spiritual discipline. And then we've got the everyday profiles. So there's Profiles of 25 women or groups of women who practiced or highlighted a particular discipline. We've got the everyday Q&As, so each question and answer feature, which there are two per discipline, gets into a puzzling aspect of the spiritual practice. Then we've got the every, everyday reflections, so those are what they call shorts, and those are 5 to 10 per discipline. So. There's going to be a lot of different things that tie into those 24 disciplines, especially when you see these, how there's two per discipline and five to ten per discipline. So that's pretty neat the way that they've done that. So they've got the practice by practice and it tells us that there's more information in the back of this Bible. But the colors that they chose on this is actually really pretty. 
I like the colors that they use in this Bible. And so each one of the books is going to have an introduction that's going to tell the background, the message, the time, and an outline. And then each one of the new books, as you see in a book, then it's all going to have that along the page edge as well. So in this section here, as you can see that this is a single column, but the majority of this Bible is a two column, but some pages are going to have it in a single column. I think that's more because they have this additional color there. The font size in this one is a nine point font with the notes being an eight point font. And so these are just some of the different things that you'll see as far as the Q and A's. And then we've got the personalities. But it's just very nicely done. I do like the way that they have the different color for the chapter numbers and then they've got the subheadings in blue but it's got a nice print on it with that nine point you don't get a whole lot of ghosting of course it picks it up a lot worse on the camera than it does to the naked eye but when you're just looking at it without looking through the lens it looks actually really nice you don't see a lot of that we've got all of our references down on the bottom so I'm just going to flip through some of these so that you can kind of see the different things that are in here. And then what they also do is when we read this, it talks about restless lives and Sabbath and rest. But then down in the bottom, it'll say for more on Sabbath and rest, see reading at Exodus 33, 12 through 14. So I like the way that they do that. But this is a great Bible for women. I would definitely recommend it because all of these different things, they're really nice. In fact, if you wanted to pause and read that you could because it does talk about uh, complaining and about having gratitude which we could all have more gratitude and then it'll tell us for more to read such and such section so here's one of our two page articles they're nicely done I like the way that they have that same theme along the outer pages really pretty Bible and you can see that uh, it lays really flat so even though it's it says that it's a glued binding. It lays very, very flat for being glued. I have an open Bible that's glued in. It does not open like this. In fact, I'm afraid to open it because I'm afraid I'm going to break it. But not the case with this one for being sewn. I mean, for being glued. You would swear that this one was sewn the way that it lays flat. They did a great job with it. I like the way they do the color. It's a shame that the camera is picking up so much ghosting because you really don't see a lot of that. Just a fantastic Bible for women. So I'm just going to flip through some more of these just so you can kind of see the different things on there. So there's a Q&A on fasting. And then there's also a personality profile that pertains to fasting as well. We've got a two-page spread on faith. But every one of these that I have read has been fantastic. There's something that I could take away from every one of them, and that is very neat. So that talks about an uncluttered soul and having simplicity, which we could all use a little more simplicity in this day and age. All right, so here is our ribbon marker, and it is a nice one. It is a double satin. And I do like the color that they chose. I like that pink. And this is the Daniel Fast, so that's kind of neat. A lot of people are familiar with that. And then I like the colors that they chose here when they go into the New Testament. Just really pretty the way that this Bible is done. Very appealing to women. There's just another example of the book introductions and how the first page is in the single column format where the rest of them are the double column format. I'm just going to flip through these a little bit quicker so that this video doesn't end up being too terribly long. It's like the third take because somebody called me in the middle of the first one and my dog started barking in the second one. And so I thought, well, uh, maybe that third one will be the charm. So. 
All right, so then we've got a section here that talks about how to use this Bible in a small study Bible group. So this would be great to be able to get uh, some women together and use this Bible in some Bible studies. That would be great. And I went a little too far there. All right, so then we've got the index of the spiritual practices. So this is nice because it's going to give you information on where all of these are at and where the, so it'll tell us where the everyday matters articles are where the profile is at where the q and a's are and then the everyday reflection so you can see in that one on acceptance there's quite a few of the reflections there and then it'll tell you additional scriptures of note so this is pretty neat because like this one here community you can see this is another one that's got quite a bit of scripture that references that so this is kind of nice if you wanted to just grab it grab your Bible and you wanted to maybe check out forgiveness you can go right to the different sections and read about that rather than trying to flip through the Bible and find all of those so that is nice the way that they broke this up in the back of this but it's a great Bible I really like it they did a fantastic job with it A lot of stuff to take away from this. So then we've got about the contributors. Tells us all about the different women that participated in this one. And then there's also five pages. So you would have ten, if you count front and back, of blank paper. So you have extra space back here to take your own notes. So that is nice. And then you've also got a couple more pages of the thick cardstock. There's not any maps or anything in this Bible because that's really not what this one was designed for. It was more designed for women as far as those spiritual disciplines. So I think those are very neat in the way that they've done the articles. I mean, you can spend all day in this Bible and, and not go real far because of the information that you're spending reading in it. It's fantastic. So there's our ISBN number. Again, it retails for $44.95. You can definitely get it for a little bit less on christianbook.com. I'm sure you could probably pick it up on Amazon and some other websites as well. So, again, this has been the Everyday Matters Bible for women. And this one is in the New Living Translation. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a great day.